talk about myself like there's more. Um, I like to start with willow charcoal. Be oh, you ready? I am going. Cool. <laughs> we'll edit that out later. Um, the reason I like to start with willow charcoal or vine charcoal is because you can make a nice broad stroke. You don't have to stop and sharpen. Um, this is not about making a beautiful drawing. This is about getting familiar with um, getting familiar with the correct techniques to get you really analyzing what you're seeing, getting in here and getting it into your hand and onto the paper quickly. Um, the more you think, the less accurate you're gonna be, right? Um, and that's because the more that you start to break down all the stuff that, and decisions that you've made, you're gonna talk yourself out of those decisions, okay? And that's why we do like a lot of drawings very quickly. Um, until you're comfortable, then we slow down. So I usually snap mine in half because then I'll like a really long one. Um, we're gonna start with gesture. So what I want you to do on this first one, label it gesture. Okay. Um, most of you, when you were learning to write, okay, go back to elementary school here, right? In your mind, not really, like physically. <laughs> um, most of you were taught the pincher grasp, right? Because we were learning how to write our names, we were learning how to like write, okay? Drawing is not the same as writing, right? A lot of my students think this is the way to do things, okay? You are tying yourself up when you do that, okay? You don't wanna tie anything up. You wanna be able to freely move. I always tell my students, think about drawing from your shoulder, okay? And it's weird for a lot of people. It's kind of awkward in the beginning, but you'll get used to it, especially if I see you like not doing it. I'm like, draw with your shoulder. And you're like, okay. okay. Just get uncomfortable with me here. That's how it is. So you really want to have this type of a, this type of an action, okay? If you're a right-hander, set yourself up to where you can see your subject on the left-hand side, okay? Because we don't want to be drawing like this and then go back, okay? You guys see how that would be a like a lost in translation type situation? We want to be able to access at the same time that we're drawing, right? It should be a tandem exercise, right? So with gesture, I usually say, um, I talk about percentages, right? In terms of how much time you dedicate to um, either your drawing or looking, right? I know you're thinking looking, really. Most of drawing is looking, honestly, and learning how to look and process. So. I always say with gesture drawing, it's gonna be like 90% looking. And it's gonna be more like 10% paying attention to your paper and your lines and your mark making, right? We, we don't get a race. And that's a good thing for gesture, okay? Another thing I want you to think about is working from the inside out, okay? Traditional drawing techniques like that you learn in high school, middle school, usually draw your contour, right? Okay, what if, what if something's wrong in your contour, right? Then the whole drawing's wrong. That's just how it is because you've defined a limitation for the outside of your drawing. You don't get to go outside of that. And now if something looks weird in the middle, you gotta start all over, okay? Always draw from the inside out because if we have the inside right and we expand out to the contours, right? Then we can always modify those contours as needed when we move out. So a gesture drawing is a quick drawing, okay? It should be like one minute sometimes less, right? I talk about tracing in space a lot. You're gonna hear me say it almost every day. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna trace the subject matter that you see in space, not contour, but you wanna trace the information that you're looking at, right? So like, I've got this figure here with the cowboy hat on. I've got this figure up here with the cane. I've got other things that I can access. I'm gonna start in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna work my way out, but I'm gonna trace what I'm working on first, right? So <clears throat> when I have two eyes, I'm able to perceive depth, right? So that's great, we like to perceive depth. But one thing that helps us is to flatten space. So if you close one of your eyes, and if I were to ask you to close one of your eyes, you're most likely gonna close your non-dominant eye and leave your dominant eye open. If you've ever, ever learned to shoot, um, you know, they usually have your dominant eye down the sights. For some reason, I'm left eye dominant, but I'm right hand dominant. It's a weird thing, but that's how I am, okay? So you'll figure that out pretty quickly. So like, you know, oh yeah, see that's unnatural for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna close one eye and I'm gonna trace in space. And what I'm starting with is the hip. Then I'm moving up over the torso and I'm literally scribbling in the information that I see, okay? 
and that's a fast, fast thing. A gesture is like the way things move, okay? If I were drawing your gesture, it would be like boom, 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 done. If I were drawing your gesture, it would be like boom, 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 done, okay? We don't necessarily need to draw everything we see. We just wanna get the basic gesture of what we're looking at, okay? So the gesture of this figure, it's kinda of like this, right? So I'm thinking about imagining where that spine's gonna be, and I'm tracing that. I'm tracing over where I think the shoulder uh, bone would be, and I'm tracing in the hand. It's gonna go really fast. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm tracing in space. If I ever get lost, I go back to tracing in space. Then I find a good place to start, and I begin. You can see that I'm moving back and forth between what I see here and what I see here, but I want more of my attention over here. I'm kind of getting lost here now as I talk, but that's his hip. This is gonna be the, the leg, knee, rest of the leg. This other leg is coming out here, other knees here. Yes, you're there. This is moving back. I can see that I maybe didn't think big enough, tracing that out. And then the uh, decapitated neck portion. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cane involved. Cane's very straight. The gesture for this figure down here. I'm not worried about proportion necessarily. She's looking this way. Got that neck going down like this. Shoulders like this. Defining maybe where the rest of the torso is. If I see something that looks heavy in there, I'll go ahead and get more in there. I'm looking at the uh, that crutch behind. Once I've got that, I'm gonna start looking at other things like that ball of yarn, right? That's just gonna be a sphere, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow the gesture of the line that that produces. I'm looking at that little, uh, I don't know, lid over there. That's what the gesture drawing should look like, and it should go no slower than that. It should go nice and fast, okay? You're getting all the basic information. Like, I always like to tell people that a gesture drawing is like a skeletal drawing, okay? So I will time you at one minute. You're gonna go real quick on this thing, and when you're done with it, and you notice like when I got like off and confused, I came back, I traced again, and it's instinct for me to close that eye, okay? And then I found where I was again, okay? So I didn't spend much time on here, like 10% really. Um, then when you're done with that, boom, on the ground. The practice drawing, not a beautiful drawing, right? Next thing, and I'm gonna come back to this, okay? <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and jump into mass next. Okay, so with mass, we just wanna think about the objectness of what you're drawing versus the non-objectness. And I know you're probably like, what? So the stuff that you're drawing versus the negative space, that's it. And we wanna fill it in. We want to define the mass, the three-dimensionality of what we're seeing there in a kind of a flat way, right? So a lot of times we start with the gesture and then we fill it to what we see as the contour. I'm gonna do this really quickly as well. Um, we'll do more like a two minute on this, okay? So I'm gonna close an eye, start again with my gesture. A lot of times doing the same activity over and over helps you to get, oh, that's too long. Helps me to get, and helps you to get a good beat on what you're drawing. I'm just focusing on this figure for now just to make sure that we can get something done today and it's not, yay, let's watch Brian draw all day. Um, so from this point, what I would do is start to think about the contour more, okay? And so now I wanna pay closer attention to the contour. I'm kind of doing more like a 60-40 type thing. I'm using my internal skeletal structure that I've already drawn and I'm modifying what I think the contour might be. Like I'm getting that musculature in there that mess up that I had before, I'm just gonna draw over it and make that um, elbow and shoulder a lot shorter. When I get that sort of sway of his hips going back, and look at those pecs, this guy's like built. Um, I'm gonna start thinking about them abs, okay? I'm gonna start working in some of these other elements where I made those legs really long. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start modifying. So I'm gonna fill in where that thigh is. I'm gonna start getting that other elements in there, and if I think, okay, I messed that up, I'm just gonna draw over. That's really probably where that foot should be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one involved. So this is a mass drawing. You would fill in the space to determine the mass of what it is you're drawing, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna apply this to the whole thing, but we're gonna start on the inside and go out. So if you can imagine, 
taking what we've done here and applying it more like this, where we clean the contours up and then boom, blacken out and define that mass. Okay. So that's gesture and mass. All right, we're cool. Thank you.